Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the month again where I get to pick October CBR. I love making Bookopoly videos. So, there is one change to the rules, which we will talk about here in a second, but let's see how I did in September. This was my TBR for September. So, I'll Never Tell by Abigail has Something Happened to Allie Greenleaf by Healy Krishker. I was supposed to pick between these and read one of them. To start off with, I did not read them. Either of them. So that means I have to start this game with six rolls instead of five. My Heart is a Chainsaw was a arc. I landed on Ark, and I read My Heart is a Chainsaw. The Flight Attendant by Krish Bojeline was the thriller. I read it. Green Glass House by Kate Milford was the book with green on the cover. Arstic and Adobo was the book of the month book that I picked. I am currently halfway through Arsenic and Adobo. I still have nine days left, so I should be able to finish this. But if I don't, I'm going to roll this over into October, and if I haven't read it by the end of October, then I will get a penalty. But for now, I'm safe. And then for Mount Wario, which is a book over 500 pages, I picked Strangers by Dean Arcoots, and I finished it. Okay, so I've kind of just been putting my houses on after we talk about what I've read and what I didn't read in the month, but we are getting so close to a book haul that I might start adding that into every video after this one. So we have number one, Monopoly, and then we have number two, Monopoly, and then we have a couple stars but no Monopoly yet, so once I get the next Monopoly, I get a book haul, and I'm so excited. Start our six turns. That is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rainbow Road, which if I actually end up reading it, will give me my third Monopoly. Our first roll landed us on Rainbow Road, which is just any kind of representation. This is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. This was a book of the month pack for me. Uh, this follows this woman who gets married in Las Vegas on one drunken night and now she is suffering the consequences of after Vegas you know maybe what happens in Vegas really doesn't stay in Vegas so she's trying to find the woman that she married in Vegas to see if they can make it work alright roll number two is a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, TBR jar. Okay, so for our second roll, we landed on TBR jar, which means, okay, I've read a lot of these, 
So I'm sure that some I've read have to come up. I think. I hope. But we'll see. Um, wish me luck. I mean, they're all books I own, so I want to read them all, right? You would think. Okay. Oh. Alright, I got one. I got one. This one. Oh, it's pink. It's pink, pink, pink. Pink, 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 pink. Oh, I'm nervous. the book. It's very hard to do. Let's see. Okay, I'll just... Oh! Uh, I'm just terrified to read it, honestly, but that is Never World Week by Marsha Pestle. I think that this is a horror novel in which these teenagers go to this isolated mansion to have like this epic party with drinking and you know all the mischief kids get into and they get this knock at the door and it's this guy saying you have to pick one person to survive tonight everyone else is gonna die and they don't really take him seriously and then they repeat the day over and over and over until they can unanimously pick one survivor. Alright, roll number three. Seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, Twisted Mansion, which is a horror novel. Speaking of horror elements, Rule number three landed us on Twisted Mansion, which is a horror book. And, again, I'm giving myself a huge book. Well, it's not quite 600 pages, so it's not as bad as last month when I gave myself that 700-page beast. Uh, I'm picking Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I know what you're thinking. Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter is more of a thriller. You would be correct, but I have already read a couple of Karen Slaughter books, and her writing, she has elements that are more horror than thriller, which is why she is one of my favorites. So I have to read it, and I'm counting it for the horror prompt. Roll number four. Oh, of course we got the dreaded doubles, so that means we need seven books instead of six. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Okay, Cloud Top Cruise, which is a book I bought because of Booktube. I think I'm kind of cheating on this prompt, but since it's my game, I'm just stretching the prompt a little bit. Okay, we landed on Cloud Top Cruise, which is a book I bought because of Booktube. I've wanted to read this book for a long time, but I never owned it until this month when I bought it for Buddy Read with Heather from Bell's Library. So I'm I'm counting it because I need to get it on this TBR anyway. <laughs> so Heather from Bell's Library and I have been buddy reading all the Riley Sager books. And now we're going to buddy read Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I don't know a lot about this. I've never seen the movie. It's a sisterhood of witches. And that's all that I know. Alright, now we're on roll number five. Which 
is a five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, it's my Kindle jar. Five landed us on Kindle jar, and I am like 90% sure that we've never got Kindle jar before. So, I'm not gonna lie to you, most of what's in here is muddy romance, or books that I got for free mainly, so we will see. This could be very bad. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there are a couple of books in here that are part of a series that I'm working on that I don't own all of, so if I pick that, then I get to buy a Kindle book for like $2. You probably won't be able to read it. Queen, what? Okay, this is called Queen of Clutz by Samantha Garman. Uh, I'm gonna try to find it on here because I don't know what that one is. Choose the best phrase to describe Sibby Goldstein's life. Sucky. Really sucky. Major suck fest or all of the above. I started my day with a boyfriend and a job. I ended my day with a bottle of tequila. I'll let you connect the dots. Somehow I wound up working as a waitress at an Italian restaurant. I had no idea what I'm doing, and I'm not just talking about life. This should be interesting. Okay, just from that, I feel like it's gonna be like a snarky, funny kind of read. And you know what? That might be pretty interesting. Alright, roll number six. The four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, brown on the cover. But I got something that works. I'm going with Remember Mia by Alexandra Burt. This is a thriller, no surprise there, about this girl who goes missing and uh, I think they are trying to t tell this mom that her daughter never existed. Let's see. In this riveting psychological suspense debut, a young mom's worst nightmare becomes devastatingly real. First, I remember the darkness. Then, I remember the blood. I don't know where my daughter is. Okay, and our final rule <laughs> is a double, but because I started with six and this is my seventh roll, it doesn't count for doubles. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ooh, pink on the cover. So our last roll got us a pink cover, which wasn't as hard as finding a brown cover, but I noticed I don't have a lot of pink books either. Somehow it's my favorite color, but I don't like to read pink covers. I think generally because pink covers are usually like romance, and I'm fairly new to the romance genre, that I just don't own anything. But I did find Death Puffer's Blondes by Caleb Rorig. That looks like very, very, very pink. So this is a, a pissed off drag queen with a grappling hook was a force to be reckoned with. 
crouch low between an SUV and a hybrid sedan on the fourth floor of a downtown LA parking garage. This is my TBR for October, and I'm pretty sure if I read Honey Girl or Practical Magic that I've earned myself a book haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this TBR. And I hope that you stick around. Please hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more bookish content from me.